Unsurprisingly, all conveyances should be wary when they are faced with acting in relation to a listed building. But that's particularly the case if you are less experienced. So in addition to standard planning issues that we have to be concerned about, there's a, there's a host of other concerns that we need to have in mind when we are dealing with a listed building. So this one hour webinar is designed to give an introduction to this area. So it's fair to say, you know, if you are an experienced conveyancer and you deal with listed buildings all the time, then this probably isn't for you. However, if you are, have less experience or you want to uh, fill in a, a few gaps in relation to your knowledge, then hopefully this will um, uh, be useful for you. So the sorts of things the, um, the Secretary of State takes into account when deciding to list is the group value. So the extent to which the exterior contributes to the architectural or historic interest of any group of buildings and fixtures and features of a building and curtilage. So preserving you know, any feature um, uh, consisting of a man-made object or structure fixed to the building or forming part of the land and comprised within the curtilage. So very much the idea that it's not just the physical building itself and nothing else. Things within the curtilage can be captured by the listing. So that is particularly relevant in a residential property context for things like um, outbuildings, uh, you know, garages, cart lodges, uh, you know, summer house, conservatory, you know, extension on the side, annex. So don't just think that it's literally just the, the building itself that's listed and your clients can do whatever they like from a planning point of view with the you know, garage, the annex uh, and, and the summer house, because it, it's almost invariably going to be the case that they can't because those additional, possibly not particularly impressive or interesting buildings necessarily, but would be caught within the curtilage of the listed building and thus also caught by the listing. So I think a very, very important sort of risk management point here is just sort of, you know, not to assume that um, other parts of, uh, you know, a property within the, you know, other parts of, a, you know, things within the curtilage of a property uh, can be sort of changed with, you know, with no consequence. It's highly likely that they are going to be captured by the curtilage um, element of the listing. 